mixing day. I thought I'd do a quick video on just how I mix paints. There's so many different ways to do it. I keep it pretty simple and you know, it works for the most part. I'm always room for improvement, but I like it. I like to keep it simple and cheap. So the paint I usually use for my white and for my flooding is um, Valspar. And I kind of get, you know, I'd like to get the best quality but you know I kind of go for the mid-range and I kind of watch for sales so I just get their white just white they usually tint it white I think I think they have to do that and then I just do about a 50 50 mix I get my ice cream containers I got everybody I know saving them for me and I just eyeball it so I'm gonna do about a third of the container and then I'm gonna get paint all over me I usually do because I don't wear gloves. There we go. Good, good, good. I stirred it up first every time I use it. And then I get my just Amazon brand school glue. I've tried the clear because I heard it was supposed to be better, but I didn't find any difference. And this is cheaper. <laughs> so once again, a budget basement barb so I just kind of eyeball it about the same amount again so it's kind of whoops I see a little bit of dust already in that I get it out now instead of when it's on my painting so I just kind of 50 50 it I'm just kind of looking at how high it comes up that's good that's good like I say I'm pretty Pretty uh, loose on exact measurements, and then a stir stick. I stir that up really good. Usually mix a fair bit of this at a time, like I kind of fill up one of these containers because it goes through it pretty quick. So I give that a good stir just to get the glue and the paint all mixed together. This paint is pretty thick. So I'll be adding a fair bit of water. Again, I would say, um, let's say uh, 35, no, that wouldn't be right. Say 40% paint, 40% glue, and about 20% water, if I had to kind of put numbers on it. I'm just kind of mixing it. It's hard to tell white glue with white paint, but you can kind of see and you know you can always mix it more later so i just want to get the paint and the glue kind of mixed and then i'm going to add some water oops splash it around a bit just for good measure stirring that up like that so um, you don't have to add all the water at, at uh, you know the beginning because different techniques you're going to use you're going to want your paint uh, thinner and thicker so I'll leave it sort of at a you know medium thickness to sit in this container and then if I'm going to do like for example a Dutch pour I'll pour out a cup of this and add water you know to get it the right consistency so I just kind of do it like a mid-range for the bucket and then I'll uh, tweak it if I need to depending on what painting I want to do. So I'll finish doing that later. So that's kind of it for my flooding stuff. And then for colors, and I do it the same for all of my paints. I love this paint. It's Desaire's paint. It really has a nice finish to it. So essentially, the same thing. I just eyeball the amount of paint I want to put in. That should do it for what I want. I want to do a painting of poppies today, so mixing up some more red. Again, I'm just eyeballing it about an equal amount. Some school glue. And grab another stir stick. And um, 
Yeah, someone was saying that if you put that GAC, GAC, 300 GAC, 800, it is better for the paint. And some people put, you know, pouring mediums and that in. Like I say, I just keep it simple. So I'm just stirring up the glue in there. And that's really thick. There's, you know, that's way thicker than I would ever use on any technique. So again, I'm just going to add some water, stir it up, stir, 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 and then just to get it to that mid-range consistency again, and then I'll put it in my squeeze bottles. And uh, when I want to do a painting, I usually squeeze it out into a smaller cup just to check the consistency and add water if I need to. And there you have your beautiful red paint. And that's really all I ever do. The odd time I'll put in, like I might add some iridescent, you know, like the Michaels iridescent clear, you know, clear. It doesn't change the color. It just gives it a bit of, of a sparkle. If that's what I'm after to get it, you know, kind of look metallic-y. That's kind of it. Sometimes uh, on a piece I'll use silicone, not very often. Not a big fan of silicone. It's okay for some techniques, but... Um, and you know what? That's kind of it. Like, for me, I keep it real simple, and it seems to be working okay for me. So that's all I got for today. Happy mixing and happy painting.